First off, we thank Wondrium, a museum for your mind, for sponsoring this video. It was equipped with the most advanced security system in the world at the time, monitored every second by heavily armed guards on an island in San Francisco Bay surrounded by cold, shark-infested waters. Yet three inventive felons managed to practically disappear from the escape-proof maximum security federal penitentiary of Alcatraz. How? We've broken down their crafty survival strategy. It's going to be just like you were there. Here's how to survive. Escaping Alcatraz. Originally used as a military prison in the 19th century, in 1933, the American government decided Alcatraz would keep the country's most dangerous criminals behind bars. Al Capone and George Machine Gun Kelly were just a few of the most infamous gangsters, thieves, and murderers. But in its 30 years of operation, the prison housed more than 15,000 dangerous inmates. Bank robber Frank Morris was one of them. He was a lifelong criminal, first convicted at age 13 and escaped several times from other prisons. But when he was in his 30s, he was sentenced to 14 years in Alcatraz. Escape proof, right? Well, not for him. In 1962, he masterminded the most amazing prison break in history. If you want to know how he and two other inmates did it, keep watching. How did they use a vacuum cleaner to break through the walls? Why were musical instruments so important? And how did they use raincoats to survive the freezing waters? You all know how much research we do to bring you amazing survival stories and strategies you can use in the most extreme scenarios. That's why we love Wondrium, a platform packed with not only documentaries and travel stories, but video courses, tutorials, and much more. It's academically reliable and fun. In every course, you can learn from the best experts in the world. Wondrium is a museum for your mind full of amazing facts. This time I found a mind-blowing story about Alcatraz in the series Native Peoples of North America, hosted by the award-winning Professor Daniel M. Cobb and produced by the Smithsonian Institute. In it, Professor Cobb explains that the rock became a hope for Native American activists who occupied the island in 1969 and created a community on the abandoned prison for a brief period. During the 19 months they occupied Alcatraz, the abandoned prison became a symbol of indigenous survival worldwide instead of a terror for the worst criminals in the country. If you want access to amazing facts like this every day, you can join Wondrium. Just for being a How to Survive subscriber, you'll have access to a free trial. Click the link in the description below to start your free trial today. But to enjoy this museum for your mind, you have to get out of jail first. So stick around. Step 1. Make friends. When Frank Morris arrived on Alcatraz Island, 2.5 kilometers from San Francisco's coastline, he joined forces with Alan West, another escape artist he had met in an Atlanta prison. It was West's second time at the Rock, so he knew the place inside and out. He had noticed that one of the vents in cell block B wasn't working. It was a perfect exit. They started planning their escape, and then they realized two other inmates they knew from Atlanta were also in Alcatraz. The bank robbing Anglin brothers, John and Clarence, were recruited. Step two, get a job. Being assigned to painting detail on their cell block's roof gave West the chance to map the route out. When he was painting outside the walls of the prison, he found a pipe connected to the broken ventilation duct they wanted to use as an exit. This gave the group a chance to store some tools and materials in a makeshift workshop out of sight of the guards. Step 3. Be handy. With West's access to tools, they made a homemade drill out of a broken vacuum cleaner engine 
which helped them make small holes in the walls of their cells. They also created an art technique that helped them fool the guards by creating paper mache like sculptures out of soap and toilet paper. If you want to know what they used it for, skip to the next step. Step 4. Listen to music. Alcatraz inmates had one hour per day to practice a musical instrument, meaning dozens of amateur musicians making noise at the same time. The group took advantage of it to slowly dig their way out of their cells, one scoop at a time. They used the handmade drill and sharpened spoons they stole from the prison's kitchen to break through 20 centimeter thick walls just large enough to squeeze through. It took them months, but it led them to an unguarded corridor. To fool the guards, they used paper mache from the toilet paper and soap to patch the walls and hide the holes. And the night of the escape, they left incredible sculptures of heads almost identical to their own. During the evening's head count, no one noticed that three inmates weren't in their beds. Yes, we said three. Unfortunately for Alan West, one of the originators of the plot, his careful planning didn't account for him not being able to fit through the hole he made in his cell wall. Step 5. Don't jump in the water. You should be excited to get out of the prison and jump straight into the water, but there is a two-kilometer swim separating you from the shore. Chances are you'll die of hypothermia, drown, or get eaten by sharks. That's why the England brothers built a raft out of raincoats stolen from the prison factory. Once the group was on shore and no one had noticed the escape, their only challenge was to survive the ocean. Step 6. Hide. Official versions say the group died at sea, but a few years later, the England's mother began receiving Christmas cards, including photos of the brothers. In 2018, a man sent a letter to San Francisco police claiming to be John Anglin, now 83. It said Morris, the mastermind behind the escape, died in 2008, and his brother Clarence passed away in 2011. Authorities did not believe the letter, but if it was true, that means the group managed to escape and hide for nearly 60 years. Unfortunately, there are other, more recent criminals who have the ability to avoid justice. Have you heard of Ted Bundy? He killed dozens of women and eluded police for years. But we've come up with some tips to help you survive such a fearsome predator. Here on How to Survive.